My boss revoked my work from home day and told me to hurry up and find a new job. So I came back to the office for the first time in a week after being sick. I take care of a couple emails and then my boss emails me and says he wants to have a meeting. We get into this meeting and he begins tearing into me about me not being able to do the simplest of tasks even though I've been busting my ass doing all of my reports and any extra tasks is thrown at me. He told me I can no longer work from home because I need to be able to learn more from the office environment and that I need to speed up the process of finding a new job because I'm one right up away from being fired. It seems like every day I'm being dragged into these meetings and told I'm stupid, I'm worthless, and that my future is in jeopardy. I feel defeated and I honestly don't know what more to do. I'm depressed when I'm here and I'm constantly stressed because I am always being watched. I'm tired of being a punching bag. I have an interview today and I really hope that I get this position because I am tired of feeling like I am in hell. You've got this, that boss doesn't deserve you. I had a boss like this once. It was very unfortunate that the hard drive on the computer containing all financial records got wiped. Silly me. I'm such a klutz too bad someone made an anonymous call to the IRS regarding paying wages to undocumented workers under the table. I really hope he found a more qualified worker to replace me. That and a good lawyer. Sounds like he's trying to get you to quit so he doesn't have to fire you and pay unemployment. Use company time to find yourself a job where you are appreciated and respected. Your manager has no ability to manage people. Stop doing all that extra shit. Find a new job and use all of your vacation sick time before you go. Sounds like they are bullying you into resigning so they don't have to pay unemployment. This place is toxic AF. Obviously, look for a new job, but in the meantime, ignore all of the petty BS and consider doing the bare minimum. Time for you to sit him down and tell him to do what he is to do. Tell him straight up you will not be resigning. He's going to treat the next poor bastard as bad or worse after the honeymoon phase of having a cool new employee is over. Toxic as fucking stupid as hell to boot. Find a new job. When it's secured and you have a start date, quit without notice the day before starting your new job. Boss wants to be a dick? Let them enjoy the fruits of their bullshit take unemployment. Read your job description, or better, print it out. Go to work, do nothing, nothing else than what is stated in your job description and if he wants to berate you just shove said job description in his face. A malicious compliance. While you may be working hard, it's possible that your work is not good enough and the job may not be the right one for you. But being called stupid and worthless is totally unacceptable and it's something I would report to HR. You'll likely be fired either way so it doesn't hurt to report it. Don't let anyone treat you like this. Don't start thinking that you deserve this. You don't. The best revenge is success at finding another job. I am crossing my fingers. I had a boss like this and when I actually quit for real he tried to get me to stay. They need the punching bag as supply. All this to say quit when you can, but don't sweat it because these people never kick you out the door. Also don't give two weeks when you do quit, just hit the bricks. Your boss is trying to bully you into quitting. Don't quit unless you already have a job or you won't get unemployment. Make them fire you. But I'd be looking for a better job. Go to the labor department and abusive environment is grounds for unemployment while you search for a new job. Try and get proof of it in writing to support your case. It sounds like they are trying to get to to quit because they have no grounds to fire you. Don't quit, make them fire you. If they fire you for no reason then unemployment would be easier for you to get. Do not take that crap from a boss. Dish it right back. Do not cave. This is unacceptable. Contact HR and report the abusive behavior. 
your boss sounds like a narcissist or an incompetent. It's best to just get another job and say FCK that guy. Good luck I hope you get the job. I can relate to how you feel. He wants you to quit so he doesn't fire you. Document all the work you do and how you meet expectations. Sounds like he's tearing you down to make you feel worthless so he can make you do more work and you won't complain. When you get a new job offer quit on the spot, no two week notice, no helping them train someone, just peace out. Add in a go fuck yourself too if why I want, in this kind of case it's the professional thing to do. Force them to fire you OP. They're trying to play chicken with you to avoid paying unemployment. They want you to quit so they don't have to worry about unemployment and making the termination seem legit. Do what you can until they term you and get your unemployment. If you quit you have no recourse. Make the earn it at the very least. Don't quit. I've been in a similar situation. It doesn't get better. I left after having a nervous breakdown. I hope you are able to escape before that happens. Leave. I've been there recently and you need to leave ASAP. Sometimes I feel so fortunate, having never dealt with a tenth of the shit to read about in here. Start recording these conversations, they seem to be trying to get you to quit to circumvent firing you or other labor laws. Always record everything. Do the bare minimum while you find a job then quit with no notice, fuck that boss of yours. Don't quit unless you got something lined up. Make them fire you. Look for a job while on company time and then file for unemployment. Make him fire you. Collect unemployment. I've seen a bit of this before throughout the years I'm old. Your boss likely has a friend relative lined up for your job. They are giving justification to HR to let you go. Do not quit. Make notes of the abusive treatment. At least by being let go you could file for unemployment until you get the new job. Possibly, you could get some more severance or a settlement. No job is worth that kind of abuse and stress. Stand up for yourself and tell him all the things that you are doing and that if he's going to fire you then do it already, but he can fuck off with these meetings right now. Sounds like he just doesn't want to pay unemployment or he is a sociopath exerting his control. If you think you're going to get fired make complaints about hostile work environment and document those complaints. Tell them your boss is being verbally abusive and it's severely impacting your mental health. That way you can definitely sue their asses when they do fire you. I think I read this exact example in the workplace harassment training I just did. Just get a new job, geez, you'll probably feel better. Sounds like they are trying to get you out without firing you and hot-dogging you into quitting. Start looking for other jobs. Once you get another job don't give in your two weeks notice. Just straight up leave. They don't deserve two more weeks of your time. My now ex-boss did this to me. This is what bosses do when they want you out of the company. Do yourself a favor and find a new employer, your mental health will thank you. Where are you based because in the UK they're passing a law that requires employers to give good reason to deny working from home, the power will very soon be in our hands. Record the meeting, sue for emotional damage. Cool boss. Get looking for a new job. Tell them you can start immediately, like today. Work to rule i.e. fulfill your tasks per job description and nothing more until you receive job offer you want to accept. As soon as you get on board at the new place then quit the current job with immediate effect and block all contact. Boss will have a sudden epiphany that you were alright after all when they see how much work you were actually doing. Bonus point cackle to yourself every time you think of that boss huffing and puffing under the extra work he's got to do now. When you get your new job, just stop showing up to the current one. Ghost them in.